Hey everyone, Cynthia Petty on here with Novatech, and today we are going to be going over the most common myths when it comes to trading Forex and cryptocurrency. Uh, now we're at home, self-isolating, quarantining with the kids who've been here for a couple of weeks, and today is their first day back in school online, which means they're here, and next class I think starts in about 10 or 15 minutes, so we're going to mosey on through this fairly quickly. I hope everybody is faring well. Um, but let's go over myth number one with uh, Forex and cryptocurrency trading, and it is that traders must work in offices. So a lot of us get the impression that what traders do, I think it's more like stockbrokers, but what traders do is they sit in an office in front of a computer and they're watching it all day long and they're watching, you know, trades move and making decisions and that's not the way it actually works at least not nowadays um, everybody's able to use an app on their computer even our terminal uh, Novatech is a registered broker so we have our own trading platform that trades directly in the market so any one of our users is able to download that terminal on their laptops and be a hundred percent mobile so no we don't have an office that you can go to where you can see the traders trading every single one of our traders we have uh, i think five of them right now um work from home on their phones and their laptops and we're able to monitor all activity that takes place myth number two you are able to join a trading company and get a fixed return every single day or every single week or every single month um, Although a company can report fixed amounts to you, that in no way, shape, or form resembles what actual trading activity looks like. Trading is a lot like throwing the dice sometimes where you know, you're know you expecting it to land on snake eyes, double ones every single time, boom, boom, boom. It could be five, two, it could be six, three, it could be a, a number of different combinations of, of roles and trading works very much the same way. So if a company is promising fixed returns, you may want to be a little leery about what's actually going on because from day to day, from week to week, it's completely different. No two days are the same. No two trades are the same. So it's very difficult to be able to give fixed returns based on that activity. Even the best trader has losses. And that brings us to myth number three, and that it's not possible or some traders never have any losses. Every trader has losses. It's not possible to make sure that every single one is a gain, but what you do want to do is make sure that you have more gains than you do losses. So when we report, for example, for the week, and the reason why we don't report daily is because we can have a loss one day and have a gain the next day, and reporting weekly allows us to just add up everything together. So even on a week where there's profit paid to our customers, it doesn't mean there weren't any losses during that week. There's always losses during the week. So what we do is we figure out how much did we gain, how much did we lose. You have to balance it out and then pay out just what was profit only. So on a week where you have a higher gain or a, a lower gain, it's because all of those losses are also being calculated in there with it. So here is another myth, and that is that you can double your trading count in a day. This one actually, guys, is not a myth. You can actually double the trading account in a day. It is absolutely possible to make 100%, if not more, gains on an account during the day. However, the question is, are you going to be able to keep it? Anyone who's trading at that high risk and that kind of volume is also risking quite a bit also, and it only takes a split second for a trade to reverse and go against you, which means just as quickly as you can double an account, you can just as easily bankrupt it. So as a practice, if we have a good few days in the market and we've made a nice profit for the week, we can choose to not have to trade anymore if the market, market gets too volatile, or we can continue to trade and finish out a, a great week and then pay out again what were the profits for that week. But you want to be very careful about dealing with any trader that tells you that they can get you double your money back in a day or a week or a month. They may be able to do it that one time. It's not going to be anything that anyone can sustain over a period of time. And then the one time you trust them enough to give them more money because you're making so much, 
There's a one time you're gonna lose it all. All right, and here is another myth that I come across quite often, and that is over the trading of synthetic index. Uh, there is a website out there that allows you to trade synthetic index, and a lot of times I'll talk to people and they'll tell me that they're trading Forex. This is not Forex trading. Although it's a form of trading, it is not trading on an open market. Forex involves the trading of fiat and currencies from different countries. So you have uh, the British pound, the Japanese yen, the Australian dollar, uh, the US dollar, all across the board, literally hundreds of them. And if you're not trading one of these on the open market, then you're not trading in the Forex market. What's going on with synthetic index is that you're trading a computer generated series of algorithms. And your job as a trader is to take your best guess on what direction this is going to go in. Now, it may give you some skills as far as detecting trends, if you can get good enough at it, but really it's just a matter of getting really good at guessing or really good at making predictions or really good at looking at trends, but it in no way, shape or form replicates what's going on in the Forex market. Uh, I've had a lot of traders test with us who do very well with the synthetic index and they see that they're making money really fast and then they get in the Forex market and they're unable to trade. It's a completely different ball game. And quite often what you'll see is again they're bankrupting these accounts. So you want to be very careful about anyone who's trading synthetic. The word synthetic alone guys means fake. Now so, finally I want to talk about the use of bots. Um, which is extremely popular, AI, artificial intelligence, also known as EA, which is expert advisor software provided by MetaTrader. We are trading on MetaTrader 5, which is the latest version of the platform. We chose not to build out a MetaTrader 4 platform only because uh, they're no longer servicing it, so we just picked the latest and the greatest. Um, and if you're trading on that platform, you have the ability to install bots. Same with cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency, you find a lot less bots on the market uh, than you do for Forex, which has been around for a very long time and extremely profitable. But one of the things that people think is that you can turn on a robot and that it will be able to operate round the clock for you without any monitoring and just set it and forget it. The only thing I know that you can actually set and forget is a crock pot. You put your food in it in the morning, you let it cook throughout the day, and even then you want to check on it every once in a while to make sure it's, it's not burning or it's seasoned correctly. Again, forex trading and crypto trading with robots is not any different. We need to um, constantly monitor them because although they're there and they're able to react very quickly and they can pick up trends, they don't always know what's going on in the market. They don't know that there's a virus pandemic going on around the world. They don't know about brush fires in Australia. They don't know about elections and all types of other things that are taking place that can have drastic effects on the market. Trading Forex is a global economy trading, and it is very much affected by market news. All right, so yes, we do employ the use of bots, but it's just a tool for our traders uh, so that they can monitor the activity and they can react also. And a lot of that can be done without bots. So this is the reason why there are so many traders still on the market and more traders than there are bots. Great tool, but cannot be used alone. So guys, anyway, this is my time here with you. Please stay safe and I'm trying to see if I have anything else I want to touch up with you guys. I guess that's it for now. Talk later.